From Silesia by Hans Christian Andersen. How sad we have grown old, our son dead, and no child now to comfort us in our last years. Ah, I shall see the old witch in the cold castle. Mishap, we can work some magic, and our wish for a child will come true. From Belizea, how dreary. I am almost sorry I decided to visit the old witch. I beg your pardon, but I... Ha! I've read your thoughts, Derry. Just cross my palm with a bit of silver. Your wish for a child may be granted. Think ye, and now take that seed, guard it well, plant it in the flower pot. Then you sh- you'll see what you shall see. Why, it not but a barley seed. Nevertheless, we shall plant it in this plot and see what happens. That night the seed takes root and grows into a strange flower. In the morning, wife, behold, the flower unfolds. Magic, do not fear, it is a fairy flower child, like unto a fairy. Hold your hand, wife, see, it's scarce as big as I thumb. What shall we name her, Flamselina, Lisa? And look at how she plays the thimble. I shall make toys for her. I shall sew some clothes for her, Flamselina. Ah, she's quite a little sailor. Now to bed. Sleep well, Flamselina. Late that night, an old woman, Lady Toad, peers in the window. How fortunate that a pane of glass is loose. I shall take this little maid as my wife for my son. I'll take her away to the swamp. Look, my son, what is it? Thou dost thy wife for thyself. Get busy and prepare the best room in our home beneath the swamp. I have put the little lady on a lady pad. She will not escape. I had best see that the duller sun is doing. Um, why look, the sun rises. I am in the middle of a pond. Oh, fish, can you tell me how I come to be here? Yes, the ugly old frog wants you to marry her son. She's placed you here. Oh, goodness, how can I escape? Easy enough, Flamzita. Our friend Donald Pike will bite his leaf stem in two and you will float away. Thank you, kind friends. Hey, look, where did they? you come from, you pretty little maid? Oh, what, that crow is after me. I'd better hide under the bed. My, my, the little lass has vanished. Well, is it, wasn't this a surprise to think that you are I were hiding? Oh, help, 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 help. Bless my soul, look at the pretty fish I've caught. We'll, up we go to meet the rest of my family. Behold, a pretty maiden, I shall keep her for my own bride. What? Pretty? Why, you must be blind. This creature has no feathers or wings. Is it ugly as sin? Hark, hark, let me go. Look at the ugly old thing he picked out for wife. Hark, hark. He, he, what a terrible choice. How shameful. Hark, hark. See, you are so very repulsive. My friends cannot stay here near. You're right, I'm ugly. I have more reason to let go. Ah, he is gone, and now I am to get safely to the ground again. The kind wind has given me, uh, has heard me. He has set me down gently. The wind puts from Belizea safely on the ground, just in the, the path of the Lady Fieldmice. Why, well, bless my little garters. Where did you come from? Hello, Dame Mouse. My name is from Belizea.
I have a number of terrible experiences, and now I am in search for a walk for rest. Oh, now come with me, my dear. My, you live in the base of an old tree. Why, it's quite cosy. Oh, it's wonderful. Yes, my friend, the mole, help me build my little house. A mole will be here in a few minutes for tea. Oh, he's coming now. How ill. Now he's very nice to be very nice to be rich and make somebody a fine husband. Well, well, and who is this pretty maid? My name is Fumbleza. Fumbleza is not a pretty enough for your, you, my dear. You should change it. How does Miss Mole sound? So oh, she thinks it sounds beautiful. Then it'll be settled. You shall be allowed to become my wife in the next just a few days. I see, sweet fellow, these are speechless with joy. Now I can't stay for tea, but I'd like to show you something. The underground passage between our two homes, Dame Mouse. Come, from the leader, child. This is a poor dead bird that died of the autumn cold. I dragged him here so you might give him a decent burial in spring. Oh, the poor dear thing. Then, if you have no objection, I shall leave him hit here, there, Dame Mouse. Sir Mole, you are a kind man. Whatever you, may f- whatever you may think is right should be done. Art sure the bird be dead? Bless my little garters, child, if thou art to be but the wife of Sir Mole, you must learn that what he says is always correct, but I don't want to be the wife of Sir Mole. There, there, a good sleep will clear your mind. You'll be happy. You'll know what, what, you'll be so happy. You know but not what you say. Sleep tight, dear, soon now we'll be, have a storeroom for a bed cut. Bedchamber, but Fumbleza could not sleep. She does not wish to marry the mole, for she knows it means living forever underground. Crying won't help, but I think I'll go see the poor dead bird while the whole house is asleep. A bird may be the last thing from outside I ever see. He looks so lifelike. Methinks I saw, saw him breathe. Aye, his heart is beating. Now have a now you're bundled good, and here comes some hot soup. Soon you'll be warm and alive. Never before I've seen so tiny or so cunning a human creature. I am so glad you are well again. That's why only the cold made you appear dead. I feel well enough to fly south. If morrow proves a warm day, I shall do it. How I wish I might fly away too. I cannot stay here to marry the old mole. Mine is a very unhappy lot. The next day dawned, or the day dawned fair, and f- f- through the winter was about to begin. The weather became unusually warm. Fabrizio woke the bird early and told him to fly away, but anyone was stirring. Now shall I fly to the beautiful southern lands, where the sun is always warm and cunny. Is it there? Is the land where you should be too, my dear. So hop on, but my back but. Never question good fortune, Fumbleza. The kind mole and a good, a good dame mouse could not, would not wish for you to be unhappy. You belong to the land of the flowers. As the creatures of the field and the forest watch, the kind bird flies. Self was a tiny girl upon his back. Gnomes, elves and animals amazed and never before seen such a strange sight. We are nearly to the spot where I shall leave you. See the ruined castle? Oh, it's a beautiful, it, it's a beautiful place. I shall alight there, here, from Belisa. You pick out the flower in which you like to live. Do you mean I choose any flower? M- uh, might I use that large b- blossom at my home? Aye, any flower is yours for the asking, from Belisa. Unless some other little creature, person is living it. Aye, there are other little folk like me. Yes, there are sometimes. They live in the blossoms, just like this one. 
Who trespasses on the king's blossoms? If you are friends, I bid you welcome. What is your name, fair maiden? Tell him your, my name, bird. Oh, oh, he's not handsome. So rich he dressed little man learned from his name. He told him that him that he was king her that them that he was king of the fair people. Never he had seen so beautiful a maid as from Lisa. He allowed a tiny girl to live in a flower next to his. Why is it is it that I have never seen thy king queen of king O king? That is because I have not taken a bride. All oh, the flower people set the king. Harry married, perhaps from Belisa. You like to be my king, queen, for you are the loveliest little maid and I have ever beheld. Nothing could please me more, gracious king. The tiny king of Andalusia were married in a colourful ceremony beneath a rose bush. All the forest folk attended. The birds sang with great joy and pride. Perhaps, kind bird, you will return to the north. You will let my father and mother know of my great help. Good health and happiness. Yes, I shall, Fumbleza. And thus the story ends. The bird found the first parents and Fumbleza happy with the adopted child. They joined new no bounds. They learned of Fumbleza's safety. The bird grew that the two good people would be content for the rest of their days.